Dios y sus bendiciones. Shlil eflogite. Ebe brosef shesta thitem. Irni basi. Mein Schwimmut und Tod von Berei verbessern an ihn, vor ein Neid, ich bin noch die Wut im Benscheuß, aber 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 ich bin noch die Wut im Benscheuß, auf die zu den Aventen Scharia Tai und Nusai in Sof um et Rufe Bos und Tavere Eer und Chimbay und Suafai nimm nur dir und teb in Anchen Hirine wenn in Jivi Bantokratu und im Scheiße bin Noti Before we commence formal proceedings, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional landowners and custodians of this land on which we're meeting today, and that's the Wurundjeri people. I'd also like to pay my respects to their elders past and present. Well, good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sharif, Sharif Yusuf. Uh, I am uh, but a humble member of the Coptic Orthodox community. I also attend the parish of St. Verena's. I've had the privilege of being part of the St. Athanasius College Council. I also call Bishop Cyril my father and my dear friend, and I will be your MC for this afternoon. Now, being an MC is a, is a really important part of today because it's my job to try and keep things on time. So there's one fail. Can't take responsibility for all of it, but let's see how we go. The other responsibility I have is to welcome each and everybody who's here today, and also to acknowledge all the dignitaries that, and, and uh, special guests that we have here today. So I'm gonna ask for forgiveness in advance if I mispronounce any names, or if I uh, miss any names, because the dignitaries lists, as I'm sure you're aware, you look around you, we have an enormous amount of support here with us today. So on behalf of His Grace Bishop Suriel and the entire Diocese of Melbourne, it gives me the greatest pleasure and honour that we extend a warm welcome to Your Holiness. Our 118th Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark, His Holiness Pope Tuadrus II, and this is the official opening of Eporo Tower. Sayedna Nieftek Nawart Melbourne Kullaha was Australia Pope Tawadros and Patriarch of See of St. Mark, His Holiness Pope Tawadros II, Bishop of uh, Melbourne and affiliated regions, His Grace Bishop Cyril, Kevin Andrews, uh, MP representing the Prime Minister, Mr. Malcolm Turnbull, my good friend, Peter Khalil, representing the Honourable Bill Shorten. Matthew Guy, leader of the state opposition. Uh, my parliamentary colleagues from Victoria and from abroad, welcome. Uh, members of the clergy, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honour to be here this afternoon, um, representing the Premier of Victoria at the opening of a Poro Tower by His Holiness Pope Tawadros II. I sincerely welcome His Holiness to Victoria, home to thousands of Copts and the world's most livable city. It's always a pleasure to um, join the Coptic community, a community that I have a, a close affinity to and understanding because of my Lebanese Christian heritage. I'm extremely blessed to have the opportunity to meet two Coptic popes in my lifetime, the first one being Pope Shenouda 
III, and now Your Holiness. A few years ago, I witnessed the unveiling of the plans of this magnificent building by His Grace Bishop Cyril at a, at a resurrection dinner. Today, after much hard work and dedication, we are witnessing and we are celebrating the completion of Apora Tower, a new landmark building in the heart of Melbourne CBD. This spectacular building encompasses a stunning Coptic church that we're in today, a function hall, a theological college, bookstore and gift shop, all of which will be generously shared with the wider Victorian community as it embraces the diocese's ongoing commitment to respectful dialogue, quality education and social justice, all of which are built on the foundation of the church and our Lord Jesus Christ. To all of my parliamentary colleagues, Kevin Andrews, the member for Menzies, uh, Peter Khalil, uh, to Minister Marlene Carews, to my parliamentary colleague Inga Pallich, who is here, can I acknowledge uh, the minister, Nabila Makram, from, uh, from Egypt, all Egyptians abroad who are here, the chair, the CEO and representatives of Hobie Land, who are the developers, many distinguished holy fathers, distinguished gentlemen, distinguished guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all of you. Um, as Minister for Planning, when I was from 2010 to 2014, I approved a number of permits in this end of the city in the knowledge that this part of Melbourne was changing. We are and certainly were becoming an international city, a city that was becoming a magnet for people all around the world to want to come to our city, to want to live and visit and be a part of our city. And there was one thing that was missing from this part of our growing CBD area. It was a church. It was a place of worship. So when Bishop Cyril, I met out in Donvale, in Kevin Andrews' electorate, when we went out there and we saw the plans and the vision that was for this tower, this was the most obvious and logical and magnificent fit for this area of the city. And I'll be frank, there were many who opposed it. There was political opposition, there was opposition from some in the council, there was opposition from some in the media who said, you can't do this, you couldn't do this. And we stand here today and I stand here today as a Christian whose mother is of the Orthodox faith and sees so much similarity to this magnificent church. And I can say, I've never been so proud to say I approved a permit as this one today. It's a great honor to be with you today, your holiness and your entire Coptic and greater Christian and other faith community here in Melbourne and to represent the Prime Minister of Australia, Malcolm Turnbull, who has asked me to read the following message. It is with great pleasure that I send my best wishes to everyone attending the opening of Iporo Tower. Today, faith, community and culture are drawn together in this remarkable building, which provides a place for fellowship and learning together with a residential and commercial space. I commend all who have been involved with this significant project and whose efforts and enthusiasm made its completion possible. The opening of Iporo Tower is a remarkable moment in the life of the Australian Coptic community and also represents a unique contribution to Melbourne's rich architectural heritage. Your Holiness, it is indeed another great blessing to have you grace our presence here in Melbourne in this remarkable and beautiful church. Uh, we've been blessed with your visit uh, in this past week. In fact, it's been a very special week for Australia. Uh, Your Grace Bishop Suriel, to all their graces, the bishops and all the distinguished guests, but I particularly want to welcome to the delegation from Egypt, Dr. Sawedi uh, and the uh, members of parliament and of course, Minister Nabila Makram, who's visited us again and we welcome you. I've had the great privilege of hosting His Holiness uh, in Canberra, honouring and welcoming him to the Federal Parliament of Australia. Uh, as the Pope of Alexandria and the Patriarch of the Sea of St. Mark in Egypt, His Holiness is the spiritual leader of a community of faith that is of some 20 million people around the world. Uh, it is the oldest Christian church in the world. And for these past few days, His Holiness has graced this beautiful city of Melbourne, as we've heard the, one of the most cosmopolitan, multicultural and diverse cities that I think rivals the ancient city of Alexandria for its diversity. But today is the culmination of His Holiness's historic visit, and it is fitting that we celebrate 50 years of Copts in Australia. 
and commemorate with joy and pride the opening of this sublime Aporo Tower. Your Holiness, Your Graces, distinguished guests, and in particular may I draw attention to heads of colleges of the University of Divinity, and may I also draw attention personally to my own bishop, His Grace, Archbishop Philip Freer, who is the Archbishop of Melbourne and the Primate of the Anglican Church of Australia. It is my honour, as Chancellor of the University of Divinity, to congratulate the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of Melbourne on the opening of this magnificent facility at Aporo Tower. This ambitious project puts the Coptic Church in the centre of Melbourne, providing a place that combines the beauty of tradition with the latest in technology. The University of Divinity community is delighted to see the growth in theological scholarship in the Coptic tradition that is represented by this facility through the inclusion of a new campus for St. Athanasius College. Your Holiness, Your Grace, distinguished Dimitri, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed our honour and privilege to meet His Holiness in person and be part of this happy occasion. To witness the opening of the St. Verena and St. Bishaw Coptic Orthodox Church in Iporo Tower. Many of you may not know who Hobi Land is. Do allow me to do a short introduction about ourselves here. We are a publicly listed property company in Singapore with operation in four countries, namely Singapore, China, United Kingdom and Australia. We are involved in the development and investment of real estate in this country. We are very happy to partner the Cod Deep Church in the development of Iporo Tower. When we were presented with this opportunity, we realised much work and thought have been put in by the church. I couldn't imagine that in a year I will see this again as beautiful and as elegant as it is today. He told me, by the way, next year you'll be coming for the opening. And I said, you know what, if I stay as a minister, I'll be coming. I really don't know in a year what will happen to me. And then he told me, no, you're, you'll be coming. <laughs> so here I am, after one year, celebrating with all the distinguished guests and my distinguished delegation from the Egyptian parliament. I have to tell you, Sayedna, a secret, and allow me, Mr. Mohammed Sweedi, to say this. When I decided to come, and I took the permission of our Prime Minister to come for the opening of Ip Oro, I told the head of our Parliament, Dr. Ali Abdelayel, that I would love to have a representative from the Egyptian Parliament with me. And then I asked Mr. Mohamed Suidi, who is the leader of the majority in our Parliament, also Mrs. Anissa Hassouna and Dr. Marian Eiser. And Mr. Mohammed Swidi, when I told him, I told him, you know, we will meet the community, we will visit the parliament. And he said, you know what, I just want to be next to Sayyidna. Your Holiness, I do not want to in any way um, diminish how difficult it has been for His Grace and also uh, a visionary, Your Grace, Your Holiness, sometimes people do not see the vision. But His Grace was firm in his commitment to this objective. And I thank Your Grace, Bishop Israel, for being such a wonderful shepherd and a father to all of us. Now, Your Holiness, I would like to take you very quickly to what happened subsequent to that. We went to, to Sinclair Brook. And we met a young man seven years ago, he was young, <laughs> a gentleman by the name of Phil Burns. And Phil was also a devout Christian, Your Holiness. And he told us to, that we can do this together in conjunction, even though it was only merely an idea. 
Subsequent to that, we met, of course, uh, Tim and Glenn, and this team be, uh, started being formulated through Sinclair Brook. Sinclair Brook then, Your Holiness, took us to Buckens, who are architects, and to my great surprise, the principal partner of Buckens Group is also a devout Christian. So it seemed to me, uh, I'll admit something to Your Holiness, what I said to myself was, if it goes ahead, it goes ahead. If it doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> but every time we went forward, it seemed that uh, the Lord wanted us to go ahead and to proceed down this path. Your Holiness Pope Tawadros II, Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark, it is indeed a great honor and a great joy to have Your Holiness to officially open a Poro Tower this afternoon. What a historic and joyful occasion, not only for the Coptic community, but also for the University of Divinity and also for the wider uh, people of Victoria and Australia. I welcome all of you and thank you again, Your Holiness, for this blessing that you've bestowed upon all of us. I also would like to welcome the papal delegation, the many distinguished guests, our dear guests from Egypt, and we are really honored that you are able to be here with us on this special occasion. The many bishops from our church and also from the Oriental Orthodox churches, and I'm deeply honored that His Grace Archbishop Philip Frere, the primate of Australia, this is the first time he has attended with us such an occasion, and to be at the official opening of a Poro Tower is, is very significant for us, and thank you for being here today. I also want to um, welcome among us some of my dear friends that I used to serve with in the New York, New Jersey area, I've been pleading with them for 18 years to come and visit me. It took a tower to bring them out. <laughs> so I'm really happy that they're here to join with me. I'm also very happy that my mother came from Sydney to be here tonight to witness this. And also my brother and other members of my family are here from Sydney. I welcome them. We also have special guests from St. Ignatius Theological Academy from Sweden, Dr. Michael and Father Joseph. I welcome them also. Our Chancellor of the University of Divinity, our Vice Chancellor, many heads of colleges, archbishops, bishops, I welcome all of them, our dear distinguished parliamentarians, distinguished guests, and I want to in particular welcome the Honorable Matthew Guy. I'm deeply indebted to you for what you did for this community and by approving this project. You are an amazing visionary. You had a great vision for this city and I know that one day when you become Premier, you will make this one of the leading cities in the world. Our dear and special guests tonight, today, afternoon, I am very happy. I would like to express my happiness and my pleasure to be with you this day. This is day of joy, joy for all of us who are participated in this major project. We are very happy. But firstly, I would like to be noticed with me that icon. This is icon from Egypt. This is icon about the flight to Egypt, about the Holy Family in Egypt. That this icon and this visit which blessed our country, Egypt. My home country is very blessed 
by that visit and by the evangelist Saint Mark in the middle of the first century. Therefore, my happiness and my special happiness this night that we consider the occasion of the occasion of opening this tower is as a fruit from a deeply rooted tree in Egypt that is the Coptic Orthodox Church, the National Church. Also, this beautiful church carries the name of Saint Verena and Saint Pishoy. Saint Verena is an Egyptian girl from Upper Egypt and was martyred in Switzerland in the century, uh, 4th century, I think, 4th century or 5th century. And also, Saint Pishoy is a saint, the monk, from Egypt, from the Delta region in Egypt. Therefore, Egypt are represented in this church from Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt in the name of this church. I would like to congratulate you all on the having this wonderful building which we can call in Egypt in Egyptian term, the big house. One important hallmark of our Coptic Orthodox Church is that it puts a great, a great care in gathering all its members together, we believe, in the importance of being together in prayer, in meetings, supporting each other, and sharing a life of holiness together. Our Coptic Church has always been one church in many buildings. We have the Church of St. Virgin Mary, St. George, St. Mina, St. Verena, yet they are all one and the congregation is all united in the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we always look forward to bigger gatherings and larger meetings that we are even trying to shorten the distance and have the church in Egypt and Australia meet together as frequently as possible. However, do we understand some Paul verse to the Hebrew when he says, and let us consider one another in order to steer up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of son, but exhorting one another. And so much, the more as you see the day approaching in Hebrew chapter 10 and verse 24. تكون مع جماعكم أمضوا بسلام سلام الرب يكون مع جماعكم